Hi guys, I'm Elliot Forbes, head barber at the Mueller Treatment Space in Carnaby. Welcome back to the next instalment of Mueller's Grooming Rituals. Today I'm performing a shave using a closed comb double edge razor. And the closed comb is considered the gentlest of safety razors. So it's well suited as an introduction for beginners and those with sensitive skin. There's going to be another video on how to properly prep for a shave, so we'll just jump straight in right now. And the most important part obviously is to put a fresh blade in. So with the double edge, it's super easy just to be able to put them in. It's three parts so that the handle comes off, second part comes off and you're left with then the bottom. So take out the new double edge blade that then sits on top. You then add the next part on top of it and then we just screw it in until that's nice and tight. Holding it on the edges. So actually you're not going to cut yourself at all. And there we go. And then when you're using the double edge blade, the recommended angle is I think 30 degrees is what they sort of say to do it at. But actually if you place it on the skin and then rock it down, you can then feel where the angle is. Obviously if it's too much like that, you're not going to cut. And obviously if it's too flat, you're not going to cut as well. So it's more about trying to get that feel of, of understanding where it is. So a good way is just placing it on the skin and then rocking it until you get that nice position. So where I've put the shaving foam now on the side, you can see actually this gives me a nice bit of grip in through there. So it hasn't gone too high into the skin. So I can, I can lift up the top there and then just work down. Now this whole time I want to have the blade onto the skin for as short amount of time as possible really. And then by working down, gives me a gap then to be able to gra grab. So I'm working with the grain the whole time just so that actually it's not going to cause any irritation. I want this to be a nice, smooth, gentle, gentle shave. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in a real methodical manner. I've gone down on the my left side first. I'm going to get that all nice and clean. So all of the hairs, the baby hairs up above as well, get them all nice and cleaned up. And any residue that I don't want there, that I know I'm not going to be shaving, get that all cleaned off so I know. So then the next part is into the moustache. I'm going to work and then across it. And a good way is to be able to then flip, feel like you float off that top lip. That's then when people then stop, that's when you get a lot of the little baby hairs left there. So if you then float straight off it and carry on through, that's where you get rid of all of that. Now with Mac 3s or with anything that's got the cartridge on, it's quite easy to be able to miss some of the top hairs just right underneath that top, underneath your, underneath your nose. But actually with this, you can rock off it. So you can actually go in and then rock down off it. And then it's very easy to get all those, those ones at the top gone. So now I've done all of that one side, got that all nice and clean. I'm then gonna work onto the next side, make, make it real nice and methodical. Now, always being aware to make sure that the, the lather is nice and rich. You don't want it to dry down at all. Now, obviously, I'm going a little bit slower today because I'm talking through everything. Normally, this wouldn't have dried out, but because it is, because I'm taking it a little bit on the slower side, it has dried out, so I'm just going to then reapply a little bit more through there. Now, with this side, it's good to be able to then lift over. If you were to sort of go through there, you're blocking a lot of your vision. So actually, if you reach over the top of your head and then pull up, that then makes it a lot easier to grab. You don't necessarily have to be grabbing all the time. I actually don't have too too much excess skin, so actually mine is generally quite taut anyway. And to be honest, you can contort your face to be able to get a flatter surface as possible. You want to make sure that you are, if you think about it as an ironing board, if you are ironing, you're not gonna iron on a sort of an uneven surface, you're just gonna get creases. It's the same rule applies when you're shaving as well. You want to feel as though you have a flat surface, you can then go over it, and then it's then almost iron clean. You basically got all those hairs off. That's, that's a good way of thinking of it. 
Now a real common area that a lot of guys tend to miss is right just in the corners of their mouth. So just by opening up wide, creating that flat surface, and taking them off. The only thing you need to be mindful of is that this end of the blade is pointed outwards. If it was to point in, then there's a good chance you're gonna take you, some of your lip off. So it's just being mindful of the angle of the blade the whole time. So if I'm going in here, this angle needs to be pointed more towards the camera. That angle again, more towards that camera there. Then I'm gonna work through the chin. Now this is a problem area for quite a few guys because a lot of guys will sort of be right-handed and then sweep straight across so the growth pattern goes really across through there. So if you were to come down way on this side and do there, you're gonna end up with a, a shaving rash. So constantly be aware of where your growth pattern is. You always wanna be going down the grain with it. Now for a lot of guys, the big problem area is underneath. They get a lot of blood spotting, they get a lot of spots, and this the reason why a lot of that is, is because a lot of people are just going bang in the one way, and a lot of people's growth pattern goes in many different directions. So when you're just going down, you're taking some hairs down the grain, some across the grain, some against the grain. So you really want to assess where the growth pattern is, and then always just go with the grain with it. So I know on this side, mine goes down, and then it goes up. So if I was just to wipe it down, I would end up with a lot of aggravation underneath there. So I'm gonna stop in that area there, because I know from that area, then it changes. And then I'm gonna come more upwards. And in this area, where I am a bit more sensitive, I do wanna make sure I get some nice tension on the skin. So when I'm shaving down, I pull up, and then when I'm shaving up, I then pull down. So when I was doing that area then, I was pulling on the skin that way. And there we go, now I'm only gonna do one shave. My skin doesn't tend to like having it gone over too many times, but if you do feel like you can go over it again, then there's a second refinement which you can do with more of a gel, see through, you can really see where the areas need any refinement. But for myself, if you go over it once and you do it well, you doesn't necessarily need a second pass with it. I don't want to go back up against the grain because it's, I would get such a sort of negative reaction, all for the sake of probably three or four hours worth of extra tightness. So for myself, just going down the grain once is more than enough for myself. And if you do see a little bit of blood in or a little bit of spotting, don't worry about that. Generally, that's it's not really anything to worry about. It's not really too sore and it, it will be gone generally straight away after. You'll put the cold towel on and if you look after the skin correctly, it then it will go straight away. So actually I do have a little bit of blooding just underneath here. So what I'm gonna use is I'm actually just gonna use the Allen pen on there very quickly. Now this is just gonna soothe it, so it use it as an anti-back and it's just an astringent. Now I'm just gonna make sure that my skin is nice and moist again. You don't wanna use it on dry skin. And all I'm gonna do is just then rub that over it. It's just a little sensitive for a couple of seconds and then that just then cleans it all up. If you want to, you can also then just rub that over your face just to take rid of, get rid of any redness, just making sure that the skin is nice and wet. And you can then just rub that over. And now I'm gonna use just a little bit of aftershave balm on my face, just to be able to then soothe the skin down even more so. When you are shaving, you're actually putting your skin under quite a lot of stress. You're making little tears upon that skin the whole time. So actually to look after the skin at the very end, it's very important. Make sure that you use really quite a nice amount of aftershave balm or aftershave lotion, whatever it is that you use, your skin will really want to drink it in, uh, really want to nourish the skin and to hydrate it as best as possible. Now some people hate it, but I absolutely love it and it's my one of my favorite parts of the shave at the end now. I'm gonna use the cold flannel 
just to be able to then close the pores and to really shock the skin. So there we have it, a nice introduction into a shave with a double edge razor. Skin is feeling nice and smooth, nice and tacky and can't wait to start the rest of the day now. Thanks very much for watching guys. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below and I can't wait to see you in store soon.